Good morning, guys. I am on my way over to Kenny's place again. Uh, we're gonna be doing some stuff with his Mustang today. But before I make it over to Kenny's house, I need sustenance. So I need to get some coffee and some food. So I'm on my way to Jack in the Box, and then we'll uh, meet up. With, we'll be meeting up with Kenny. sandwiches. So let's go ahead and make it over to Kenny. Good morning. Sir. Good morning, Kenny. Good morning. You want to tell these fine people why I'm up so early in the morning? 10.30. Good, sir. Yes, Aja, yes. It's fine, Aja, it's okay. <laughs> well, we're picking up stuff too. Oh yeah, we have a cage that we have to go get. Yeah, we saw this. <laughs> I still need to do this shit. But. Well, thanks for the coffee. Yeah. Happy birthday, bud. Thanks, bro. Everyone, go comment below. Say happy birthday, Kenny. But what are we picking up today, bud? Uh, we're picking up a cage from M2 Motoring for the Mustang. Half cage? No, it's a full. It's, well, it's, it's a full a cage. Point. It's a four-point cage. It's not. It's not a. It's not just the harness. So yeah, but that. Is yeah, that, that, that. That's. I was gonna say that's a half cage. Yeah, I'm in the way. I'm so like, a second. Yeah, I know. Me too, bud. You said ten. I'm here at ten thirty. Yeah, and I was up at ten o'clock when you texted me. <laughs> what, Aja? What? Hey, what? Come on. She wants her camera time. What? Oh boy, I started it. I started it all. But so we're picking up a cage, half cage. Yeah. We're doing headlights. Mhm. Mm and then birthday dinner later. Yes. So I'm not going home. I mean, you can. Nobody's, sport, nobody's holding you at gunpoint here. So I'm not going home. Apparently somebody's holding me at gunpoint. Anyways, guys, let's go ahead and cut to whenever we are picking up the cage. All right, Kenny, we're here to pick up your cage, your half cage. And the man to help us out hey, what's up? is over here, How's it going? Michael Ma. Over at M2 Motoring, he is the man, the myth, Thanks. the legend. <laughs> Whatever. <man. laughs> but I'm just me. He's holding this. Uh, this. What would you? How would you describe? Because I know it's a first gen uh, TC. Yeah. First it's gen. TC with a wide body kit and a whole bunch of stuff. It's kind of a showpiece, talking piece, I guess, in the garage. Because you said that this is like one of like the more notorious, like it's a very well known TC. Yeah, for people that. I've been part of the science scene since the very beginning. I followed like Formula Drift and everything. This car was on their national tour for I think like two seasons or so. Okay. So built, this is an in house Scion, uh, Scion Racing RSR uh, car, I think, and Beyond Marketing car. So. And you were saying like Ken Gushi, um, he like, he had every, like, I don't know if this was necessarily his car or not, but it was like no. one of like the, like around the designs and stuff like that, right? Yeah. So the wide body kit. Um, was the same one used on his first gen TC that they used for drifting. But obviously, this one just still has the you know stock TC engine with a turbo yeah. kit. It wasn't a real drive converter or anything. Yeah. But uh, the overall look is the same, minus you know sticker delivery and all the little put, things and more show stuff in there. So you know, I, I'm pretty. I'm, I know who built it, but I don't want to put his name to it because I don't know if he wants to be mentioned or not. I gotcha. But but just because of certain touches on the car, I know who 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 had a hand in it. Like it's, so. I don't know if you guys can see the crazy detail in this, but like as someone in the show scene, this thing is absolutely insane. 
Like as he breaks it. <laughs> as I, it's all right. It's it's all hooked on. But yeah, man, this uh, cause like just leave oh, it. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> but then you have um, you have for all my Veloster fans out there, you have the uh, the R spec, right? Yeah, the R twenty nineteen R spec. So Michael and his company mm -hmm. and um, who is it? It's um. BMC and SK Industries. Uh, SK Industries is a aero company that I've been working with for a while now. Yeah. We're developing a lot of carbon parts for us. So in the coming future, you're gonna have a bunch of carbon panels uh, replacement. Actually, yeah, re real near future, they're in the production process right now. So carbon hood, carbon fenders, carbon lip kit. Yep. A lot of parts for this model and the N, and then they're gonna branch out. Once that kind of gets settled in, they're gonna branch out from there, do the, do the Elantra N line, the because a lot of like, because I mean, like the one six goes in the Elantra too, right? It covers up until last year. I think the one six covers. I think what eighty percent of their product line. Yeah. For Hyundai, so for Hyundai, so to be honest, a lot of it is like still like not plug and play, but very very close. Cross, cross platform. It's like essentially what the the two point T is to the V Dub. Exactly. To, to the Golf. Exactly. Jetta, and uh, Saad. All that crap. Go, go, go down the go down the list. And so he actually helps. Uh, he helps. Um, R and D and make products Do for and consult with them to bring, for bring, bring the right things to market for the, the enthusiasts. Because you were bring you were trying to bring stuff for the first gen as well. Uh, for a minute, but it didn't really pan out that, and I kind of see what the market of the first gen is. And I'm like, yeah, it's, it's not, not worth it. Yeah, the second gen is a lot better, especially because like there's a lot more. Uh, it's a newer following. Everybody's looking for you know new stuff on the market. So the first gen's kind of like everybody's kind of just setting in their. Thing. set in their ways and to yeah. be honest like a lot of it is just kind of like the first gen there isn't a lot going on with it it's yeah. just it is what it is well, in the, that's also the price point of the product i mean nothing against first gens but now as these cars become used people have a lower budget to buy stuff and yep. the quality and whatnot that i'm working on with sk industries and bm speed the quality of work that we're trying to uh product we're trying to put out it's gonna it's not gonna be crazy expensive but there's gonna be at a price point where it's like okay <clears throat> it'll appeal more to Veloster and owners and people that have a little bit more expendable income. And especially because the second gen to me, at least says even as like a first gen owner is better in the way that it still has independent rear suspension, okay. especially I know I'm not, I know you're not a big stance person and I'm definitely a bigger stance person, yeah. but the fact that it has independent rear and you can adjust so much more on this yeah, car, like dial it in more everything and everything's kind of like a little, like the one six is still like still being worked yeah. on and it's a little bit improved yeah. and all that stuff. But yeah, guys, check out uh, check check out Michael Ma and M2 Motoring. I'll uh, I'll leave his Instagram, but he's uh, he's raffling off the Scion TC over there. Yep. Once the new website uh, launches, the online store, we're gonna have merch. We're gonna have uh, entry giveaways, a legit one. None of this stuff that you hear on Instagram nowadays. Um, we're actually gonna be I'm gonna be giving away that car. Yeah. Uh, a few months after the site launches and they kind of get things going yeah so be on the lookout guys but let's go ahead and start getting the uh the roll cage thrown into his big behemoth over here i call it clifford he doesn't he likes to call it eugene clifford's a very proper name for that truck it is <laughs> everybody uses it so just use it. eugene crabs <laughs> So this uh, cage was out of my SEMA built Mustang that I built back in 20, SEMA 2012, 2013. The shit? Yeah. Damn. It's been sitting in my garage. I've been clearing out. As you guys saw in the background shot, there's a lot of stuff I gotta get rid of. So yep. Kenny's got the same generation Mustang that I had, so. So it's really, honestly, there's so much stuff in this garage that like, first off for a Vegas garage, this is huge. <laughs> but to begin with, like there's so much stuff in here and so much, I don't want to say history, but um, like it's history in here yeah. too. Like, if you guys could see this in person, like that that TC is actually pretty crazy, and it's it's super cool. He's Thanks. you've been you've been building cars. I mean, you didn't build the TC, but you've been you and uh, MT Motoring have been building cars for like years now. Yeah, since uh, started the company in '99. Yeah. Uh, first show car I built was back in 2000. My very first car out right out of high school, built it, and then got stolen. So. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, it, it was cool. That was a good start. I mean, it's a hobby. It's a passion, and I don't really ever see it as work. It's just it's really always fun and networking mean you know you kenny and everybody else in the car scene you know yeah so i mean it's always it's always been a pleasure man i mean uh, i've known yeah. i've known you since yeah for like three years ago when we first met yep. and you've been developing and doing all this crazy stuff yeah. for the past few years so but 
All right, man. I think we're going to dip yeah. out of here. For so, sure, man. Yeah, take it easy. Here, Appreciate you. Yep. It was good seeing you, Michael. Likewise. All right, guys. So, we have the headlight assembled for the most part. It's just kind of a mock up, but that's essentially how the demon, like the, the full assembly is going to be. We've got the sequential switchback DRL strips, and then we've also got the switchback halos on there. And I'm sure the camera's picking it up, but we have the demon eye installed as well. What do you think of it, Kenny? I think it looks good. Yeah? It's really good. Unfortunately, we did have a casualty of a broken LED strip. Sorry, Kenny. Happens. Yeah, is what it is. But here's the beauty of it. Go ahead, Kenny. And look at that. It looks gorgeous. I love how everything turned out. What are you thinking, Kenny? I think it looks great. Yeah? Yeah. Everything you wanted and more? Yeah, honestly. It's gonna look a lot better than the OEM setup. Um, and here, actually, I'll have you hold the OEM one. Oh, Lord. So here's how the OEM one looks. All that chrome kind of just, it's kind of gross. Yeah, no halos, which is something that Ford really should have done, especially for the year. And then these DRLs being just kind of crystal tubes is kind of cheap, honestly, so. But I love the fact that everything is so switched back and everything works as the turn signal. We get to delete the actual amber uh, bulb in there, so now we don't ever have to really run that. Yeah. All we, do, all we run is the resistor on the turn exactly. signal wire. But everything, and then like you, like we have with this, like that looks, like look at how that demon eye is. And everything is Bluetooth controlled. So all we have to do is just connect our phones to the app, well, to the controller and everything works. Honestly, I love how everything just turns out. Nick, your thoughts? Looks good. Yeah? Big fan. Yeah? Simple, clean? Oh yeah. Good OEM plus style. Yeah, I think so. I think it gives it a good look, but, all right, guys, honestly, there's so much time that goes into this. I'm kind of over it, plus kind of have to wait on LED strips and stuff. So maybe when that all comes in and I finish all the headlights, I don't want to keep dragging this video on and dragging this series on. It's probably going to be another week or a few days, however long shipping is. But to be honest, I kind of want to just leave it at that. You guys get the idea of the headlight. It looks fantastic. Um, I'm sure you can at least put some clips in once it's actually installed on the car. Yeah, I'm, yeah. It's, not like it, it's not like this is the last time I'm going to be here. So go ahead and finish off with the nice finished headlight. I think it looks killer, dude. I definitely... I think it looks great. I, I think at one point I was very like skeptical at it, but I, I love how clean and simple everything is. They don't want to go with anything crazy because especially on the Mustang, the way we're building it, crazy is just over the you, top. You don't need everything to be crazy. Like you can have small details in it. Yeah, exactly. So, all right guys, I think I'm calling it for that for today. I think well, we're gonna- You didn't tell them to like and subscribe. Well, I'm going to in a second. No, you need to say it like before anything. Well, I was gonna say- you your outro. I was going to say well, that it is- YouTubing? It is. But yeah, I was going shows. to say, we're going to have a birthday dinner for you. Ah, yes, we are. So again, guys, wish him a happy birthday in the comments. How old are you, 12? 14. Yeah. yeah. But, all right, guys. Anyways, go ahead and like, comment, subscribe, and have a good one.